Now this farmer has got it going on, complete with the sunscreen. You're going right, aren't you? Get some lunch. Chuck and I both bought hammocks and I bought some uh, parachute cord. He didn't have another ammo can. Oh, we'll get those in tomorrow. Yeah, okay, whatever. But they're 28 bucks. You guys are pretty proud of me. He's pretty proud of them my uh, ammo boxes for 28 bucks. Yeah, I know. Sometimes they run special. If you buy two or three, the price goes way down. It depends. Up in Omaha, I paid, uh, or Council Bluffs, I paid 20. Yeah. Well, we might be LBC, might know where a uh, hardware uh, surplus store is around there. We can get them there, game. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Yep. I'm fine. It doesn't. I'm doing fine. It's up to you. It's not a toll. It's not a toll, is it? No, nope. not a toll. This one's free. We'll jump on it. All right. Hopefully there won't be too much construction on it. We can get up to speed. Just gonna zip us through town a little faster. I'm gonna jump on 20. Cut through town quicker. It'll save us about 15 minutes of traffic. Maybe. We'll see. Meanwhile, as we wait for the four hour light, if I guess wrong and we hit some heavy duty construction, it'll be uh, washed pretty much, but what the heck. I think the construction is just a little west of where we're going to jump off. Yeah, all right. See that main entrance to that building to the right there with those people standing around looking frustrated? Yeah. Department of Children and Family Services. There's uh, sometimes you'll see these uh, ladies out there protesting with picket signs. Get their kids taken from them and stuff. I went there one time on a call for something and uh, they actually had cardboard boxes with babies in them on, you know, just using it as a makeshift uh, cradle. Had blankets in it and stuff like that. Really? The social worker had one baby in her arms and another one by her desk. Cardboard box with blankets all around it, so it must have been some kids she just uh, grabbed that morning or something from some parents. But yeah, they're way uh, overworked and understaffed. They couldn't keep up with half the cases. Okay, we're gonna speed up now. Alright, I'm gonna lose you on voice, so don't worry about it. Donuts went out of business there to the left. 
that's a rare thing around here, but they just had so many Dunkin' Donuts on the west side that I think they were stealing from each other's business. I drove around town here for 15 years and I had uh, coffee at every Dunkin' Donuts. I knew all the faces, <laughs> all the family members. Yeah. I remember one guy, no matter how early I'd come or how late I'd go to Dunkin' Donuts, I'd see his face and I'd say, do you just like live here? He's like, yeah, pretty much. Dunkin' Donuts by way of motorcycle. Yeah. And they're all Indian people too, and I don't mean Native American Indian, I mean India as far as the other side of the world. You know, for the most part, they're pretty nice people all in all. I tell you what, if I see them running a Dunkin' Donuts, I know they get the, they get the orders correct and the service is going to be good. My Dunkin' Donuts is supposed to be, there's a few white people work there, when I get them, I'm like, oh man, my order's going to get screwed up now. <laughs> This car coming up on your right's got a trash bag stuck in the trunk. I think it's funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a body bag. Typical gangster Chicago style. Yeah, that's what it is. Close it on the body bag. Or maybe she's transporting a dead fish somewhere. Yeah. For a horse's head. <laughs> 